So today we're going to talk about some pacifier clips as you can see. So if your baby, you know, you use a pacifier for kind of calm them down in certain places when you go out in public and you want to go and go on a fussy way or anything like that, um, you use pacifier or whatever you use. But today we're going to be talking about pacifier clips. So we're going to make a short video. As you can see, two different styles they have. Uh, they have a whole lot of different styles but these are the ones that we purchased recently so as you can see difference in design um, material so yet again remember you get what you pay for so if it's your baby don't buy no cheap sitting what can't broke off and cause the baby harm a lot of them say it's safe for the baby and this that I said but some of them will cause problem so first thing first as you can see this design, which most baby ties and baby look a weird stuff, you have this velcro. So I mean, we just start to use this one and basically how this one work is you pull this back, you have this open like this, and let's just use this when I look a binky toy them. So how this will work is you basically clip that on the fabric like so, and you push it up. And there you go, you hold on to it. So that's pretty simple. And then also with the Velcro, as you can see, this end, you basically push the loop. Or if you have a pacifier like this, you push it through and just loop like that. Attach the Velcro. Simple. So very simple design. Um, very efficient. Um lightweight nothing too crazy but the only bad thing about this is let me see if we can bring a look closer all right come on for so as you can see that's length or whatever um loose fabric that's around the baby and this can actually come off which if the baby is chewing on that or anything like that the baby can actually swallow that and can choke on this if you're not careful. So that's the only bad thing about the Velcro style. Um, so be careful with this. But as you can see, it's a thin piece of threading, um, fabric, whatever they use. But this is the only bad thing I found about it. This Velcro piece right here attracts or captures loose fabrics are so like that and that can be a very that can choke your baby so you want to be very careful with that so watch this this style as you can see basically works like this you pull that down it opens up you clamp it on like so and you tighten it and open it like that so press it down lock opens up so this one he actually is attached um by a piece of cordage so as you can see these are a lot of different balls or whatever it is um they made out of silicone or some type of plastic if you maybe have any allergies or anything like that you want to make sure so you check on that before you buy anything like these because you know you'll be able to put them in the mouth and then the way this one work is basically you push it through and you just loop it you'd have to loop this whole thing through once you get it looped through the pacifier um, handle and just pull it through and then you would basically hold it in place so since we only have one hand um let me try it in a second one second so you basically push the first card is through and then you just loop the wire all the way down carrying it all the way down through this loop and then it will hold it in place and then also i do recommend when your baby is chewing on this or if they do chew on this you be very careful because this string might be defective i found out one of them when i actually test it before i give it to the baby it actually came apart and when it comes apart as you can see there's only that knot that actually keeps it so all of these bars can become loose and your baby can choke on that. So definitely, you know, tug at the string 
in um interrogate it make sure say it's very it's sturdy um i would say with these you need to wash them uh, honestly wash them about every day uh, if you be able to use them constantly like that um dip them in warm water i wouldn't say wipe them down with lysol or anything like that because you have to imagine these is going to be putting your baby's mouth because they they chew and everything so a couple different styles but all of them have the um pros and cons it's always seem like a lot more cons to everything because you know there's always some kind of danger with everything every product out there so definitely pay attention to them um when a child is using them after a child is using them inspect them make sure they're still sturdy make sure they're still good um and then again don't buy if you're using these type of things don't buy a cheap one because they will fall apart or they do pose more of a health hazard to your baby if they're poorly built or yeah basically if they're poorly built so is your baby choose something good for your baby so you don't have no problem and watch your baby so yeah uh so one thing about pacifier I'm mean, not really a pacifier person still, you know, but for some reason, you know, people want to want the baby for their cry and thing, they rather use a pacifier. So, I would say about the pacifier, they have different types. Um, They have some hard plastic, they have this silicone plastic, they have a whole, a couple different material made pacifiers that go up from the age of the baby, from in front to toddler or whatever age. I would highly recommend say you don't make your baby become stuck on these because if they grow too big, you know, cute when you see big people and they, and they have about three, four year old local picnic, they suck them, pacify, I walk through the store, it not look good. So if you use it for a little bit, don't use it for a long time because then come addicted to it. And this is a piece of plastic, you don't, you don't want the kids sucking on no fake rubber plastic, whatever it is. So if you can't give them the titty, figure out something else you understand but no make them suck on these things too long you understand so again you get what you pay for the hard the hard plastic ones they are so you will see you be able them sucking on them and when they stop sucking them they have that little weird ring around them out like they you know it's you basically have an indentation on their skin but with these ones are so it's it's all soft flexible so you don't see that indentation um uh, so be careful if your child start teething or anything like that. Sometimes they can bite holes into these and you can see the plastic or whatever material it is start peeling back and that can become a choking hazard. So you definitely want to inspect them if um, you see a child is starting to teeth or um, chew on it in any, any weird way or so. So definitely keep an eye on that. And then again, just... Treat your baby with love and care. Buy them, buy them the good stuff. Don't don't go cheap when you get this kid stuff. You understand? All right then.